Hey guys, it's Hugh Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series Shop Disney and Hasbro Pulse Shared Exclusive X-Men the Animated Series VHS uh, Jubilee figure. This is one um, Shop Disney or Disney Store had it available online, so I was able to put in an order and get it. Um, Hasbro Pulse actually just recently delayed it. Um, until mid-July, the same with Wolverine, but I would imagine Shop Disney's probably going to get Wolverine in any day now. Uh, but pretty cool figure. There's some interesting things to this figure that I was not expecting and did not pay close enough attention, obviously, when it was first revealed. Uh, so we'll talk about that, her and the accessories and everything with the figure. Um, I want to take a look at the box, because it's a lot bigger than I had originally thought it was going to be. I thought, you know, VHS style, you know, just the plain box, I thought it was going to be similar to, uh, like, the Troop Builder boxes, but as you can see, a much uh, bigger design for the box, and, and I don't have a VHS, um tape handy with me let me adjust a little bit here um to 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 really show um a size comparison on if this is the actual size of a vhs it feels about right but i haven't held a vhs cassette in i don't know 25 plus years i don't even know how long at this point um <clears throat> the thickness seems about right i don't know about the length it could be but man i just really can't remember um but i was honestly thinking it was going to be this size of a box uh but it's huge and as you can see jubilee easily could have fit in this size box but i think because they wanted the heights to be um the same when it comes to other characters like the mr sinister one you know it might be a thicker box but the height is the same and i think that's kind of what they were going for there so taking a look at it this is the plastic free packaging we know that hasbro has made the commitment to remove plastic from all their packaging by 2023 so this gives us a good idea of exactly what they mean by plastic free packaging so we've seen it before with those true builders we get this plastic free packaging sticker on here um actually not a sticker i thought it was a sticker but that's actually part of the box um but a really interesting design i'll get to how they package it here in a, in a minute uh, but i love the artwork on there it looks really cool we see jubilee she's kind of in action there and you can see they do the cell shade on the artwork to kind of match uh the figure so we'll get into that you can see here there's jubilee looking to the other side the back of the package there we get a look at a, a 3d render of the figure and it says jubilation lee is the newest member of the x-men able to project plasma fireworks from her hands with explosive results uh so pretty cool uh there so <clears throat> in the package what happens is the figure is wrapped in paper um, but there's all this cardboard that's inside of it. So instead of a plastic tray, we get a cardboard tray. But I wonder, is is the cardboard and the use of paper in the cutting of trees more environmentally beneficial than the plastic? I know plastic won't um, biodegrade or anything and cardboard can be recycled. And maybe this is out of recycled materials, I don't know. But it's just an interesting thing to note. Um, and then the packaging of it. So she had the cardboard her legs were in this cardboard um, and then it was wrapped in the paper um, I don't know what the, the the packaging process at the factories look like in terms of how much time is spent putting these things all together um, I, I would imagine it would take longer than sticking it in a piece of plastic and throwing the plastic in a package um, but I really don't know it's just kind of interesting you know how many steps and stuff that it took to kind of do that in all the use of paper and cardboard um, that it took so you know it's a bit different from the true builders they're just you know wrapped in the paper put into the box but you know with these ones because maybe because it's larger you know having the extra insert not really sure but anyway let's get in for a closer look at the figure and a closer look at the accessories and we'll talk about the differences and compare her to the one that we had released before which i'm trying to think which wave was it was it the caliban wave it may have been or the toys Us exclusive wave of the jubilee build a figure because guess what they share some parts here so um, we'll get into that right now okay so here is a close look at the jubilee figure it's actually this head sculpt here that actually comes with on the figure out of the package but i already swapped the other one out as i was taking pictures so and i just kind of left it on uh, but first it's essentially a repaint of this one that was released again i want to say the caliban wave was it Caliban or Apocalypse? I want to say Caliban. I think it was a Caliban. It's essentially a repaint of the same figure. However, it does use different lower legs, so that's why um, there's going to be 
I guess a little bit of a height difference. You know, this this head sits lower on the neck, so you can see that head just really high. So there's a little bit of a height difference there. The legs are a little bowed out. I haven't really warmed up, warmed them up, or tried to straighten them out or anything. So just a heads up on that. Uh, but there's different deco, of course. So obviously the shirt is a different color. We get a more like orangish red as opposed to a hot pink color. Um, the jacket is a similar yellow, nothing really going on there, but the blues are a darker blue. She has yellow gloves specific to the animated series because this is a true animated series figure. Um, but the, the legs, she just has these blue lower legs as opposed to the boots. I like the boots look a whole heck of a lot better. Not sure why they went without them, so that's a little unfortunate. And then the denim um, looks a little bit different there. We get a little bit less detail, so like the cuff has a different color on there. But we get the cell shade um, on this one. And then the, bu the belt buckle is gold as opposed to silver. But looking at the cell shade, I'm not the biggest fan of cell shade. But these are pretty minimal. It's not a whole lot. It's not They're not crazy or anything, so it's, it's fairly subtle. So I don't mind it so much. But like here on the glove, um, here on the sleeve of her jacket, there on the jacket as it comes around there her again her uh, her sleeve there her shorts if you kind of look they're almost like a two-tone we get a darker blue on the outside lighter blue on the inside um, the same thing on the other side actually I guess it's not really there I guess it's only on this side actually and then looking at the boots you see the boots are basically like half colored there as well so you get the lighter color and then into the darker color on the boots um, and the feet so it's not a crazy amount of cell shade uh, but there is some and then of course on her glasses she has them and speaking of her glasses she comes with two different pairs um, of additional glasses for the other head sculpt so here we have the translucent plastic so you see this cell shading there and then we have the one that is the opaque uh, more of a hot pink color with the cell shade there. So I'm not sure why we get two different versions. Um, I guess it's just on preference of what you want to do. Um, I kind of think that the, the, the non-translucent actually ends up looking a little bit better. Uh, but we'll kind of take a look at that. And then for her firework effects here, we have these pink um, effect pieces that we've seen multiple times over and over again. Uh, but the really cool thing about these ones this time is you have kind of, oh, let me focus. It goes in from a darker pink into a lighter pink, almost just a no pink translucency there. So that is actually kind of cool. So it can look like, you know, as it starts and goes out and then it gets darker. That's kind of the way I look at it. And I think that is actually pretty cool. And then again, the other additional head sculpt. This one we've seen before. This one came with the previous Jubilee figure. I have the bubblegum head sculpt on her now. Um, but this one did come with this head sculpt as well. And this is the one where you could put the glasses. You could actually see the little indent in, over, in her hair over her ear of where those glasses are going to sit. Uh, but I want to talk about this one real quick because one thing that caught me um, by surprise is this head sculpt is the same head sculpt as this one. I know it may not really look like it, but I promise you it is the same. Looking at the hair in the same places, looking at the glasses in the same spots, it is the same head sculpt. I know it looks very different because it's amazing the difference paint will make on um, on a face because they're the same and then you know we got we got the photo reel here and we didn't have it you know way back when I don't remember what year this this line this target exclusive line kid come out was it 2014 it was one of the most ridiculously difficult waves to get because it was exclusive to Toys R Us storm was only one per case um, and I think storm had the body to Jubilee which was crazy and then um, you know, after a while on eBay, there was bootleg ones, you know, for 40 bucks or whatever. This is the authentic real deal Jubilee. I did have the, uh, the bootleg at one time, but, um, ended up going for the real one. So, um, same head sculpt, which is pretty cool. Nice to see it used again because it wasn't used, uh, before, but I actually really like this head sculpt more than I, more than this one. This one's good, but I do think this one's better, but let's go ahead and pop this off. And we'll pop this one, new one on there. And so somebody on Instagram asked, and I haven't been able to get back to them. You can see the head sits much lower on the neck. So you can see how much that neck is exposed. That whole, um, you know, lollipop look or her neck, her head is just way um, too high on the neck. You know, it goes over the collar. It just looks really weird. You get a whole bunch of gap there. You don't really see it so much on this, on this new one. So that's a huge improvement there alone. Um, and again, the cell shading really just isn't isn't that bad. 
And then looking at the glasses again, I like the opaque ones a little bit more. As I fight to get this on her face. Such a small piece. And it fits on there like so. And I really like the way that looks. That cell shade makes it look really nice when it's on her face like that. I really like that. But you also have the translucent ones, which are okay. I just don't like them as much. I get that it's more practical that she could see through them, but to me that just doesn't look as good because you know if you're if you're gonna see her eyes then you know that makes sense for the translucent but with the cell shade you, you can't even see her eyes so I guess it just goes on preference you know which ones that you're gonna like um, but I like the opaque hot pink ones more than the translucent you guys let me know down in the comments below which ones do you like more I'm gonna go with this one or actually I'm just gonna go with this head sculpt altogether because I think this one is definitely the better one of the two you guys let me know in the comments below which one the old uh, reused build a figurehead or the um, the newer one okay so let's look at Jubilee's articulation she can look down all the way she can look up all the way which is quite nice because she has short hair so it doesn't really get in the way you get some good neck pivot going on there and then a full rotation on the swivel her arms you can get to go up and out quite a bit you get a full rotation in there single jointed elbow as it is an older body um, so you get that much bend at the elbow and the swivel there as well wrists swivel and they do hinge so here on her hands she actually has the vertical hinge up and down whereas on the right hand she has the standard horizontal hinge um, she has the diaphragm cut so it's a little bit tricky because of her jacket but she can pivot to her left a little bit there she can pivot to her right a little bit there going back is difficult because of the jacket coming forward is not a whole lot because the diaphragm cuts don't usually give us a whole lot of range going forward I mean it's 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 basically like nothing uh, and then you get a swivel at that diaphragm cut of course legs go out that far apart she can kick forward that far up she has an upper thigh cut there at the shorts double jointed knee Ooh, doesn't really want to bend it's kind of ooh, that was kind of ugly how that kind of worked out so double jointed knee like so but man ooh, it's kind of separating at that pin I am not gonna want to bend that so much anymore uh, she has a calf swivel which isn't you know all that normal uh, but because she doesn't have the boots um, on this one that's why she has the calf uh, swivel foot hinges all the way down hinges all the way up ankle pivot peg holes at the bottom of the feet so thin legs equals gumminess so be careful um, when it comes to your figure but there she is. There you go. Okay, and here is a side-by-side -side comparison of all three Jubilee figures that we have. We have the Build-A-Figure, again, Toys R Us exclusive line, X-Men uh, wave. We have the, the new Cell Shaded and the previously released one. And I forgot to mention on the articulation, uh, she does have waist swivel as well. So that's not something typically we see with females with the diaphragm cut having waist swivel as well. Uh, but she does. So there you go. You guys let me know down in the comments below which one is your favorite Jubilee figure. Is this one enough of a change for you to pick it up versus this one? Or did you miss out on this one and need to get this one? Or are you just a fan of the X-Men, the animated series, and want to get figures that are officially based off of the X-Men, um, the cartoon? Uh, I, I think a lot of collectors are kind of in this age range where I am, where we grew up watching that show and knowing that there's going to be a continuation series, X-Men 97 on Disney+. Plus. Um, is pretty exciting. Um, so I, I'm very excited. You know, the, the VHS box thing, it's interesting, you know, if they're going to go away with window boxes, how can you make something display worthy? And I think that, like, for these VHS boxes, I, I think it does the trick, right? Because a lot of times you're probably going to show the spine um, of the box as opposed to the front or the back of the box anyway. So that works out for a lot of folks in that sense. Um, the Spider-Man Beyond Amazing 60th Anniversary line, I think those, you know, the packaging looks really cool, but I think it's definitely a harder sell in terms of those that, that you know, mint on card collectors or somebody that likes to display figures in packaging. Um, it, I think it's a little bit more difficult with those ones, but these ones work out really nice because you have some awesome artwork um, that goes along with it. Yeah, you don't see the figure on the front or anything, um, but I think it, it'll it'll present itself nicely when you have multiple figures 
um, that are going together. So Wolverine, Mr. Sinister, Storm, Jean Grey, who knows what else is going to be coming. It's heavily teased and hinted that Morph will be included. Um, and I think everyone really wants a Morph. It will be cell shaded, which could be kind of a, a, a kick in the nuts because I think... You know, if you're going to want a Morph figure, you're probably not going to want it cell shaded But if it's pretty minimal and subtle, like the Jubilee figure, um, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Again, I don't really care for cell shaded figures much, um, but when it's done minimally, um, I'm all for it. I'm a fan. It doesn't bother me um, as much. But when I look at figures like the Mafex Spider-Man cell shaded it was too much cell shading. I just wasn't a fan of that. That's why I never picked that one up. Um, but again, this, it's it's not so bad. Um, it's not some crazy color contrasts or anything, um, and it works well. But you guys let me know down in the comments below, what do you think? Do you think um, the cell shading works, or are you against it? Let me know all in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, and as always, thank you for watching.